What's going on nation, it's Daniel John from Daniel John Fitness. So I hope you guys are all good, and I hope you're all okay. And I'm actually outside again today, you know, I'm taking the dog out. And, um, you know, let me know in the comments section below, you know, do you like me doing these videos outside, or do you prefer it where I'm sitting at, you know, my computer chair, uh, and doing these videos for you? Uh, but let me know in that comment section, because if you like them outside, then I'll do them more outside for you, and, you know, get more of an environment in it. But, you know, I was outside today, and I was a bit debating, you know, whether to go out or not, because... The weather was dreary, it was raining, it's been raining all night for the last two days. And, um, you know, I was de debating whether to take the dog out today for a run. So I thought, you know what, I'll bite the bullet, I'll do it, you know, if it rains, it rains. It's one of those things, it's the inevitable. But then it comes to mind, it's, you know, it's, it's a war that's consistently raging on inside us, you know, because it's a war that's consistently going backwards and forwards. And what that war is, is that is, are we those people that get up in the morning, go about our day, do what we have to do, or are you one of those people that sits back and waits for the perfect time, but there's never going to be that perfect time, is there, for that situation? There's never going to be that, that time that is right to do what you need to do. And that's where it comes to mind, you know, that war that is consistently raging, you know, regardless of any war that's going on at the moment, or anything that's going on in the world, I'm talking about the war that's inside us. And that's why I wanted to tell you guys the type of person I am, but I also wanted to ask at the same time, what kind of person are you? Are you the kind of person that sits back and waits for that time? Goes about their day and does things as and when they want? Or are you one of these people that has to get things done? Otherwise you feel like it's biting at you, you know? It's one of those things that's consistently going on in the back of your mind. But I am no doubt about it. I'm one of those people that I can't sit down for five minutes and knowing that there's things got to be done. You know, if I cook dinner, I've got to get up and I've got to wash the dishes, you know, get, get that stuff done and put it all away. I'm not one of these people that can leave mess. You know, if I see dust on the floor or stuff on the carpet, I'm one of these people that's got to get the hoover out and clean it. Now, it could be OCD, obsessive compulsive disorder. However, I don't care. I'd rather be a clean person than a dirty person at the end of the day. But are you one of these people that... You know, your alarm goes off early in the morning and you, maybe you've got to go to work, maybe you've got to go to the gym. And are you one of these people that pushes the snooze button six times and gets up when they want after they've had that extra hour in bed or 45 minutes? Or are, they one, are you one of these people that, you know, pushes that alarm, as soon as it goes off, boom, straight out of bed, going about your day, not making excuses and getting shit done? Because I know we're all guilty sometimes of pushing that snooze button, trying to get that extra, you know, extra 5% in sleep. But that's why I thought I'd put the question to you. What kind of people are you? Are you the kind of person that gets up and does shit? Are you the, the kind of person that people want to be, you know? Or are you that person that, that sits back? You know, I'm not criticizing anybody, but I'm not a lazy person. I can't be a lazy person. And it's not in my, it's not in my nature. You know, I've always been one of these people that's got to get shit done and I can't sit there and wait for the day to pass and then decide to do shit. I'm one of these people that's got to get the shit done and then let the day pass. I'd rather, rather get everything done and have nothing to do rather than do nothing and then have loads to do. But that's why I thought I'd put the question to you guys. So let me know in that comment section what you are, what type of person you are, you know? No hating on everybody, I'm just trying to get a, a feedback on what we all like. Because at the end of the day, the world is made up of so many different people. And, you know, that's what makes the world go round. You know, what people do, what people you know don't do. Because at the end of the day, you know, when once you've done something that you know's got to be done, whether it's got to be done straight away or at the end of the day, you know, whenever you choose to do it, you get that you know that self satisfaction. You know, you get that that self motivation because you've done something that had to be done, and there's a weight off your shoulders. You can. You can take that breath, that sigh of relief, because that's one less thing you've got to do. One less thing to worry about. So let me know, you know, are you one of these people that puts in 110% all day? Or are you one of these people that divides that 110% throughout the day and puts in a little bit here, a little bit there, and if you've got some left over, you just throw it in the trash. But let me know in that comment section below. So take care, stay safe, and I'll see you guys next time.